Okay, today's video is going to be on how to use artificial intelligence, the new websites and stuff that have popped up, to create 3D images and it will create a unique 3D image that you can tweak or you know do whatever you want. I'm going to show how I used it. So I went to one, it's called Mid Journey. It's free to join up and generate the first few images so all you can want to do is you put a forward slash and type imagine and it'll pop up prompt and now in here you can type anything you want literally and it will bring up you know whatever you type in and it'll give you different ones to look at so you can see there i typed in 3d grayscale skull and then you have to wait a minute i've skipped the waiting process the skulls that it generated it generated four different skulls i went with the one on the top left to do that you see underneath the images you've got a u1 u2 that is to enlarge the size upscale so you just click on the number you want which mine is the top left so i want number one i want to upscale it so i just click that and once that's loaded and then open as open the original you can also make variations and stuff like that as shown there so you click on it open the original and now click to zoom in and then save it once it pops up in your downloads at least with mine i took it into photoshop and removed the background and stuff i did show this process before which i'll put a link above to show you know how you can mess around with the image to get it to come out a little bit better and then you just want to save that and go to image r yeah so in image r you're going to quickly resize it to the size that you want to use then you want to click on material for me i've got a co2 laser and i was doing it onto canvas so i'm going to click white tile painted black and then that will invert the image for me and mirror it so i'm going to say okay so now i'm going to go download and save this as a .bmp file and bring it back into lightburn so you can see there now in lightburn it's the inverted one at the top there so all i did from here was change my settings for me i use a 350 speed and a 12 power I have an 80 watt CO2 laser 350 speed 12 power once it finished etching I just got some air out of the air compressor and blew it off because the dust sits around on there a little bit and you can see there how it finished out I did actually give it a little a little wipe over with water as well just to clean off the last bit and you can see even backlit it really comes out nice so yeah i just wanted to show that the possibilities are really endless with um, artificial intelligence because it can generate anything you ask it to so thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and i will put out another video as soon as possible thank you